The artwork for the Giant Music q and series is provided by GoPro Keo. Please go follow him on Twitter at GoPro Keo. Hello everyone and welcome back to the relaunch of the Giant Music Q&A series. For those of you who did not know, I started this series when I went to France for an audio engineering internship and now I've returned from my internship, it's been a long time and we're starting 2017 and I want to reboot this series and come out with a new episode every second Wednesday. If you guys don't know what the Giant Music Q&A series is, it's very simple. Every two weeks I will answer a audience question about various topics, it could be anime, music, music production, YouTube whatever you guys asked me so i'm very excited to get started with with this series i strongly suggest you checking out the first 11 episodes i've done of this series on the playlist it's going to be on my channel it's the giant music q a series today's question comes from at the stig 9000 and he asks at giant music what is your favorite anime i really wanted to start with this question because i think it's a good way to kick off the series my favorite anime of all times is 100% Yu Yu Hakusho. If you guys have never heard of Yu Yu Hakusho, get out of that rock you're living under. Go Google it. Go check out Yu Yu Hakusho. Go watch all 112 episodes. It's a great shonen anime. And I fell in love with it from the very first scene. Basically, for you guys who don't know what Yu Yu Hakusho is, it's this kid called Yusuke Yurameshi, and he's a delinquent, and in the very first scene of the very first episode, he does this really heroic act that's completely out of his character, where he jumps in front of a car to save this kid who was playing in the street, and because of that, he dies. So very first scene, the main character dies. Spirit World, where, where the dead go, we're not expecting his death, so basically, they decide to give him another chance and redeem himself and come back to life, and then he becomes Spirit Detective, he meets a people along the way and he goes through all these different arcs there's some really amazing characters in Yu Yu Hakusho I've watched the series twice and I'm a fan of it I'm a huge fan of it it's my favorite anime ever I've also watched the two movies Yu Yu Hakusho the movie and Yu Yu Hakusho the movie Poltergeist Report those two movies are really good I really loved it Yu Yu Hakusho is by far my favorite anime what I love the most about Yu Yu Hakusho is how the story progresses and how the characters grow I love how Yusuke becomes a delinquent and at the end of it becomes a full fledged hero my favorite character in the series is definitely Hiei Hiei is my favorite character because he's just such a badass he starts out as a villain but he was so popular and so well liked by the audience that they made him a main character you don't don't see that happen all the time. I love all its powers and abilities. He is like the quiet but like can kick so much ass type and, and, and that's why I love him. As he goes throughout the series you really see him change and turn from an evil character into a hero as well as Yusuke but he really starts out as a bad guy and the beginning of the very first arc him and these two other characters form this like evil trio and Yusuke has to fight them and defeat them. After that we see him in the Saint Beast arc he takes on the Saint Beast with Yusuke and I really liked how he realigned himself and I love his attacks as well. I think that the Dragon Darkness Flame is one of my favorite attacks in all of anime. It's so badass. His attack, his fight against Bui was my favorite at, uh, fight in the entire anime series. And I just, I don't know, I really like Hiei. Spoiler territory, if you guys don't want, I'm going to start talking more about spoilers here. If you don't want to get spoiled about Yu Yu Hakusho, I suggest stop uh, listening at this point and come back in the next episode. So... What I really like about Hia as well is his relationship with Yukina, his sister. Yukina has no idea that he is her brother, and this mystery like remains for a while in the in the anime. But like Yusuke finds out about it, and Kurama friend finds out about about it. But Kuwabara is the only one who doesn't know, and it's really, really, really funny. And I also like Yu Yu Hakusho because of how comedic it is, because it's very serious. There's a lot of serious battles and everything, but there's a, a this really nice touch of of lightheartedness between the characters where you can like break away from the seriousness and you can also like enjoy having a good laugh back there and there's always these like random like jokes that come up and you know you shouldn't laugh at them because they're so cheesy but they're just that cheesy that they make you laugh I love you, Yu Show, from episode 1 to 112. I really wish there was, like, more to the anime and that it didn't stop after that. But I do understand that, you know, you can't make the anime go on forever. This is not, like, One Piece where there are, like, almost 800 episodes. For me, once I started watching it, I couldn't stop watching it. I remember the first day I started watching Yu Yu Show, I 
cranked out like I think like 15 episodes straight. I couldn't get enough of it. I wanted I wanted to see Yusuke come back to life. I loved how Kuwabara was was trying to pass that test. The relationship between all of the characters is so cool. Like especially Kuwabara and, and Yusuke. Th those two are like they start out as arch nemesis from the in the school, and then finally they like realign together and they become like best friends. And there's like this really cool rivalry between those two. My favorite arc in all of Yu Yu Hakusho though has to be the dark tournament. It's my favorite arc ever. I know it's really typical of an anime to have a tournament arc to it, but I really like the way the dark tournament was was made. How younger Toguro challenges Yusuke, and then you know they have the mass fighter, and then like the, the group assembles and they have to start fighting. It's a really really cool uh, arc, and I really enjoyed the battles and everything. And it just gave, a tournament arc in an anime is a great excuse to do more fighting and to have more action. And I'm I'm a junkie for some good action in anime. And Yu Yu Hakusho definitely has his fair share with all the spirit attacks and all of Kurama's uh, poison plant attacks and and Kuwabara's energy sword. I mean, there's so many great characters and especially two villains I want to talk about very quickly. Younger Toguro has this great, great story to him. I love how he was partners with Genkai before. He turns on her and everything, and then the whole Dark Tournament arc occurs. And then after that, like, there's a final battle against Yusuke and Toguro. It was just a great fight. And how he decides to go into limbo instead of, like, oh, you don't have to have that bad of a sentence, uh, according to Koenma. But he chooses to, to go there, and we never find out really why. He just decides to go into limbo, which is, like, like constant torture. It's, like, the worst sentence you can give to someone in Yu Yu Hakusho. And I love Sensui. I love how we start out with the Sensui 7, and after that, we find out that the Sensui 7 aren't actually the members of the Sensui 7, but Sensui 7 personalities, and how Sensui was spirit detective before Yusuke, and how we saw how horrible humans were, and so that's why he decided to open the portal to human world. I, I love those two villains so much. Yu, Yu Hakusho is the best anime ever in my mind, and you should definitely go give it a try. I highly recommend it, and it's really, really good. So, at the Stig 9000, thank you so much for kicking us off for this series. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episode. New episode every two Wednesdays, so I'm really excited for you guys to check out these episodes. You can like my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash giant music. My Twitter is at giant music. And yeah, guys, thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe to not miss the next episode, and we'll see you next time. Bye.